Hey everyone, this is Andrew Ty. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Today, I'm going to be showing you how to pair and install the Fitbit Lux with any iPhone. So I'm going to show you the entire process from unboxing to downloading the app, setting up your account, and then pairing it with your iPhone device so that it all works correctly under the same ecosystem. So the first thing I'm going to do is to unbox the device. We have a little tab here, which we pull, and then this plastic comes off, and then we can slide the bottom of the box off. And now we can open up the box like so. And now we have access to our Fitbit Lux. So here we're going to pull this tab up here. And now I'm going to just pull these two boxes apart. And then the Fitbit Lux has come off here. Within the box as well, we've got a couple of other bits and pieces. So on this side, we've got the longer strap. And here on the power charge side, we're going to have the charger itself. We've got our, some of our documentation here, quick start guide, download, set up and sync, and then some warranty information. So not really going to be using any of these. I'm just going to pop this down here. Here I'm going to undo the strap just to show you how to put it on. And at the back here, we have this plastic, which we're going to take off. And then take this front bit off as well. And now all of that Fitbit stuff has been removed. So let's say we want to change the strap. So we've got this included longer version of the strap. All you have to do is to go to the bottom of your Fitbit and then pull this kind of tab here. And then the strap will just come off like that. And then with the new strap, we just pop it in like so. And it'll clip in and then you've got your longer strap. So I'm just going to swap this back because this is going to be for my wife and her wrists are very small. So let's just pop that back in like that. And now we're all ready to go on to the next step. So I'm going to put the Fitbit Lux inside. I'm just going to look at the charger. Just take off that paper. And then basically we need to plug this USB A end into any USB charger. And then we can go ahead and charge the Fitbit. So these quick start guide says to charge this up to 100% fully first before we move on to the next setup stage. So I'm just going to align up the charger with the bottom of the Fitbit and it kind of clips on magnetically. And then all we need to do is to plug in our USB cable into any USB charger. And then basically we're gonna go ahead and charge this Fitbit. And now it started the charging process. You can see here uh, that says uh, 47%, the date is wrong, etc. but we're gonna fix that in a moment. So I've got my Fitbit Lux charging here and then now we're gonna do the iPhone portion. So within your iPhone, I recommend going into the App Store and then we're gonna do a search and then we're going to search for Fitbit. And then go ahead and press the get button. And then you need to type in your Apple ID username and password to authenticate, and then we can download the app. And just for you to be aware, this is completely free to use. So once that's done, it's going to start downloading here. And once that's ready, we're going to press the open button. It says here Fitbit would like to use Bluetooth. You need to enable this to continue. And then what we need to do is to join Fitbit. So now we're going to set up which device we want to pair. And then I'm going to be selecting the Lux. And then we're going to press Setup. So here we're going to sign up for a Fitbit account. So just type in your name, last name, email address, password, and agree to the terms of service. You also need to verify your email address. So check your email account when you've created your account and then go back into the app. It says here, Email Verified, press Next. Then we're going to go through the Privacy Policy, press Agree. And then we're going to enter our health details. So just enter your birthday, height, weight, and gender. Then we're going to read the privacy policy and then press accept. And it says here, charge your Lux. So we're charging already, but we're going to press next here. And now it's searching for the Lux. So this has been found. And now it's asking us to enter the four digits on the device display. So you can see here, the device is displaying a security number, 6517. So we're going to just type this into the phone, 6517. And then this knows to pair these two devices. So it's saying connecting to Fitbit. Now it's saying it's pairing. Just give that a moment. I can feel this vibration here. And it's saying here, Bluetooth pairing request. Lux would like to pair with the iPhone. Press pair. So now you can see the pairing's done. The date and time is there correctly. We're going to allow the app to send notifications to our phone. Press allow. And now it's asking us to update our Lux to the latest firmware. So we're just going to do that, press update now. And we can see that this firmware download has started. So we're just going to wait for this download process to complete. If you get to the screen, just go to the profile page here. 
and then go to your Lux. And it says here, there's an update available. I'm gonna press update tracker. I'm gonna accept the agreement again. And then it says here, it's gonna take 20 minutes to install. So here we're gonna allow. Make sure to keep your Lux charging and near your phone until the update is complete. Here it's saying it's updating. And we can see this little progress bar updating on the screen now. So now it's saying here, get notifications on Lux. We can dismiss this and we can get notifications on this device. And now we can see that the Lux is fully updated. Now, if I go back to the profile menu here, and now I click on the Lux here, it's saying that it's fully synced. It's got the up-to-date version of the firmware, and now it's ready to go. So now I can go ahead and put this thing on. So I'm gonna go ahead and put the strap on my left wrist here, and now I can use the Lux here. So now I can go ahead and use all the different functions. So I can go and look at the watch face here, Let's scroll down to the date, hourly calories, sleep, exercise, etc. So that's all working correctly. And if I go back to the phone app, what I can do is say change the watch face and go to gallery, go to clocks, and then I can change this to let's say this analog type. And if I press install, then this is going to go and download straight to the Fitbit. Just wait for that bar to complete. You can see that the watch face is loading and that's updated and now I'm using the new watch face. So that's all been installed. So anyway, this is how you get the Fitbit Lux paired up with your iPhone for the very first time. I hope you found this video useful. If you did, please like, please subscribe and I'll see you in the next video.